Greetings and welcome back to Educational TV News Channel, the People's Channel. And if you are here for the very first time, you know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, like, comment, and share. And blessings to all of my VSP subscribers and followers. Now, people, we all hear these sayings already. That man of the dead for make our next man live. You know what I'm saying? And this is exactly what we are talking about now. You know what I'm saying? That happened in a Maxfield Avenue. And the residents in a Maxfield Avenue come out and says, you know what I'm saying? They might demonstrate to the government that they need infrastructure, light and water. Now, as we said, people, this is a very, very strange, strange story. You know what I'm saying, people? And it's strange in more ways than one. You know what I'm saying? And it concerns a JDF soldier who take out a man by the name of Gavin. And Gavin, them say, is a man who sells fish for a living. Now, people, we all realize on what went down in Maxfield Avenue a week ago when a police officer by the name of Kemar Francis was shot and killed by a gunman named Bonwes, who was also killed two people. So therefore, the soldiers and the police not going to take any check in a Maxfield Avenue period. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, people, Gavin was an innocent man. He just have a piece of stick and him lost him life. You know what I'm saying? Now the resident them come out and them demonstrate. You know what I'm saying, people? So I'm telling you now why the residents them demonstrate. And I quote this one from the Jamaica Gleaner. Now, it's been said, people, that soldiers mistook stick for a gun in killing man. Resident claim Maxfield Avenue used his shooting death to press for a better infrastructure. Resident of the lower section of Maxfield Avenue, St. Anjo, are demanding a full investigation into the circumstances under which Errol Gavin, also known as Fisher, was shot dead by soldiers on Thursday. They used debris to block section of the roadway yesterday, claiming that Gavin was killed because of the long-standing problem of unlit streets in the community. According to them, the 48-year-old Gavin, who earned his living by selling fish, had just left Whitfield Avenue and was heading up Maxfield Avenue sometime after 9 p.m. when he was spotted by soldiers on patrol. Carrying two plastic bucklers and a length of stick, which he usually brandishes like a rifle, resident theorized that because the street was unlit, the soldiers mistook the intoxicated Kevin for a gunman and shot him dead. His brother Maurice and other residents said Gavin was well known and loved throughout Maxfield Avenue and was a peaceful man. Without giving details, the police corporate communication unit said Gavin was shot during a confrontation with a member of the Jamaica Defense Force. It said that the matter has been reported to the Inspectorate and Professional Standard Oversight Bureau as well as the Independent Commissioner of Investigation. Now the resident them attack and them say we need resources like infrastructure, water and light and we need it as soon as possible. Through the lack of electricity, soldiers them couldn't make out the man in the darkness. Them think him have gone and fire upon him, one man told the news media. He said that the problem faced by lack of infrastructure went beyond safety concern. Then come in with one with online classes. How the youth them are going to learn when there is no electricity and no internet, he asks. We're using the death of Fisher to bring attention to the fact that we need basic resources such as light and water because if the street did light up, the soldier them would I get to say him was a harmless man, resident added. 
No, people, that's why I'm going to say this thing is very, very, it's a very, very strange topic, people. You know what I'm saying? It's very strange news because, as I say, you know, condolences goes out to Gavin family. You know what I'm saying? Because Gavin was a hardworking man. And unfortunately, people, him take out in a very sad way. You know what I'm saying? No, the residents in the area, them are demonstrate people. And them not really are demonstrate against the soldiers and the police. Them to say, well, you know, them take out an innocent man. Them are, in, them are demonstrate because them are say, well, if the street light them did, you know, light up and the soldier them would have did, you know, make him out in the dark and no says, not a gun him have his own piece of stick with two bottles on it. You know what I'm saying, people? No, this must be a message that's sent to the government. I make the government understand, say, you know, we can save life if there is street light in the area. That means say, the soldier and the police them can't say, who is who? You know what I'm saying, people? And hope this go back to the government and immediately them light up the area because we all know what went down in a Maxfield Avenue the other day. And the police and the soldiers, them not taking any check. You see what I'm saying, people? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? After dark, the police and the soldiers, them not take check. You know what I mean? So, it's just a sad, sad way, people, to see Gavin taken out like this. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the community, I use this to demonstrate, to get better light, you know, better electricity and water in them area. So please leave your comment down below and tell me what to think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings.